This is The Paw Report. With Jeff Savat on sports, Kevin Bouquet and Isaiah Gardner on entertainment, Tony Confino as our field reporter, Tristan Allen as our co-anchor, and lead anchor, Amy Gennady. Welcome to The Paw Report. Good morning, OJR. We here at The Paw Report are having so much fun. Here's your news for January 31st. Have you ever dreamed of being in a winter wonderland? If so, your dream will come true tonight. The Winter Wonderland Dance is going to be held at the high school from 7 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. There will be music, food, and a whole lot of fun. Tickets will be on sale during all lunches for $8 and will be sold at the door for $10. The dance is open to all grades, so come on out. It's sure to be a ball. A few weeks ago, we announced that Jillian Kaplan won the Pilot International Brainminders Art Contest. We go now to Kevin Bouquet as he interviews Jillian about her accomplishment. I'm Kevin Bouquet here with The Power Report, and today we're interviewing Jillian Kaplan, who recently won the 2013 Pilot International Brain Minders Contest. So Jillian, what can you tell us about this contest? I had to send in two coloring pages based off Brain Minders captions that they sent me. Okay, and what exactly did you win from this contest? I'm working on three coloring pages, and I also won $150. Okay, she's a little rich. But anyway, how do you feel about winning this contest? Um, it was weird at first, especially since I've never taken any art classes, but art has always been a pastime of mine. Okay, and what advice do you have to people who want to do this next year? I don't know if it's an annual thing, but to do other contests like it, you can join Anchor Club. Okay, well, Jillian, this has been real. It's been cute, but it hasn't been real cute. Anyway, I'm Kevin Bouquet reporting for The Paul Report. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Kevin. Jillian used her talent to help out a great cause. Now you can do the same. The Philippines are still recovering from the typhoon that tore through the country during November of last year. Student government is trying to make a difference with a fundraising contest divided up between advisories. Cash in your paychecks and donate anything you can to help out a family in need. If being a good person isn't enough incentive to donate, the advisory that collects the most money will receive free soft pretzels courtesy of the Philadelphia Pretzel Factory. Collection starts today and ends February 7th, so search through your couch and empty your wallets for the Philippines. Or the pretzels. Pretzels are good, too. You don't have to go all the way to the Philippines in order to make a change in the community. You can do something just as simple as recycling. Take a look. With recycling paper, make sure it doesn't crumble. of recycling old moves, congratulations to the following football players of the fall 2013 season in making the Pac-10 All-League section list. They were recognized January 5th at the Pac-10 Football All-League Banquet. Wyatt Scott was awarded All-Academic Team. The following players were awarded an honorable mention. Wyatt Scott for running back, Colton Hainsey for defensive line, Steve Myers for second team offensive line, and Brad Kinkner for defensive back. Matt Kreider is still celebrating winning the 1,000th point of his career. As promised, we sent Jeff Savant to talk to him about this momentous occasion. Jeff? Hello, o and Jay. I'm Jeff Savant, here with Matt Kreider, who plays on the basketball team. So, how did it feel your, to score your 1,000th point? It felt pretty good. It's been a goal of mine since freshman year when I first started getting in the varsity games, and it felt real good getting it at home with all my family and friends around. And, uh... How does it feel to play in your injury, and how does it affect the way you play? It's been tough this year. My injury has uh, slowed me down a lot, and I haven't played to my full potential, but I just keep on going with it since it's my senior year, and it's the last time I'll play basketball for a while. And uh, why is basketball your favorite sport? It's real fast pace and moving, and there's only five guys on the court for each team, so it's real fun to try to make a play happen whenever you can, and you can get the ball whenever you want instead of waiting for stuff to happen for you. All right. This is Jeff Savant reporting for the Power Report. Thanks, Jeff. Have a great weekend, everyone. Don't forget to recycle.